Hey, hello there. This is possibly going to be the easiest video that I have created so far. So how do you replace hard drives uh, within your Zettabyte file system, ZFS, right? I'm using TrueNAS, so let's get into it immediately. I have logged in to my TrueNAS and on the upper left corner, if your screen is small, if your screen is wide, this will probably already be opened. So just go to your storage and here is where you already have your existing topology. Uh, go to manage your devices, right? And here is where you have your hard drives that make up your RAID Z field. Um, most of the uh, times you will have RAID Z1 field as the most optimal one. However, I wanted a little bit more redundancy. That's why I have RAID Z2, which basically means that two of my hard drives are spare drives. Now I do have mixed capacity hard drives and this is because I simply, you know, didn't have any other hard drives, but these, uh, I actually started with two of the um, two terabyte ones and two of the, how do I make it, two of the three terabyte ones. And they worked as four hard drives, each one of two terabyte capacity. So the one that was three terabytes had one terabyte of wasted capacity and the other one that was three terabytes had also uh, one terabyte of wasted capacity. This is how it is when you have mixed capacity hard drives. It's just what it is. Um, then one of my three terabyte hard drives died and then I replaced it with a six terabyte hard drive. So basically now I have four hard drives still acting as they are uh, of two terabyte capacity and meaning two of them are spare that basically gets me down to well i have now uh, six terabytes plus three is nine um, and 11 and 13 so this is like 13 terabytes but usable space is below four terabytes and this is because of the mixed capacity uh, I am okay with this because I get hard drives as I can and when the chance arises to, you know, get some used ones, this is fine. Uh, if I get a chance to buy new ones for a special price, that is also fine and eventually the sizes are going to increase. Uh, what you can do is replace one by one hard drive uh, for a bigger size and purchase them or, or acquire them as you are able fi financially. And once all of them are of increased capacity, uh, then you can just click a button to use up the entire space. So that's how it works. Uh, in my case, I'm going to put one of these small ones offline and then I'm going to replace it and then I'm going to allow it to uh, resilver. So resilvering means that it will um, well basically become another spare. It will um, get all of the required data for it to uh, behave as a spare drive. And once that's done, then I'm going to replace another uh, two terabyte hard drives. Uh, so at that moment, uh, this one is going to be my smallest drive. So all four of them are going to behave as three terabyte hard drives until I manage to get rid of this one as well. That's how it works. So let's go ahead and click on the first one. So the first thing you want to do, go to the bottom and well, copy paste your serial key, right? There is a button called replace here, but don't get fooled by this one. Uh, this one is used for an active hot spare, uh, which is something that I don't have. So let's just go back to the beginning and make it offline. Do you wish to offline SDC? Yes, I do. Okay. 
And now when you go back, it will say that this RAID Z2 field is degraded. Degraded means that it is not functioning uh, as designed because one of the hard drives is actively missing. Okay, so if you would be having um, a hot plug uh, controller uh, like I do, then you would basically just pull it out, uh, plug in another one and um, put it online and uh, voila, no downtime whatsoever. Uh, you can already notice that I'm getting some notifications. Uh, this is the uh, TrueNAS system sending me email notifications that my, um, well, read Z field is degraded. I already got this email uh, in my email reader. So that, that's kind of cool. And uh, what you need to do uh, at this point, I'm going to actually pretend that uh, my controller is not um, supporting uh, actively uh, a hot swap, right? I'm going to pretend that this is a nor normal motherboard. And for that, I'm going to shut down the system okay so hardware change this is fine confirm shut down okay so the system is now shutting down and uh, we now need to replace the hard drive okay let's go back to the full picture and uh, the next step is the very 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 important step we need to open one of these boxes we need to open it and how we are going to do well, It's ready. Okay, here we are. So the first thing is locate your hard drive by the model and the serial number. So that's not the one, definitely not. Be careful about the cables or maybe unplug them before you pull them like this. Yep, this is the one, okay. I'm not going to be able to do this with one hand. So give me a second. And there we go. Where did it go? Oh, 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 it's down there. Okay. Swap the new one inside the drawer. Yep, just like that. Now put it inside. Don't do that with one hand. Okay, we are ready to turn it on. Hello there, I'm back. Now that the TrueNAS machine has booted back up, uh, go back to your storage. It says one unused disk. This is expected because we have just installed it. Uh, the um, Z pool that you're using is still being degraded. Go to manage devices, expand on this, and your hard drive is missing because you have pulled it out. Uh, go in there and click on a replace. So replace with what? It can only offer you this one disk that you have just uh, installed. The force button is not needed if it's a new hard drive. If it's uh, a hard drive with some data on it, then you may be required to check the force uh, check mark. Uh, you can preserve uh, the existing uh, settings for smart. Preserve disk description, this is fine as well. And let's go ahead and replace the hard drive. So this is going to take a little while 
And once this is done, it is going to start the resilvering procedure. So let's give it a couple more seconds to see where this goes. There we go. Successfully replaced the hard drive. Go back. It now says replacing. And if you go back to the top of the screen, you will see that it's now resilvering the pool. Your Z pool is being resilvered. Uh, basically, what this means is that this is now synchronizing all four hard drives uh, into the state that is uh, needed to resemble uh, the um, functionality of RAID Z2. And we know exactly what it's doing because we only have one new hard drive so that's the one which is uh, currently being synchronized with the uh, other ones uh, you should wait this to finish you can use your truna system while this is being done it may be a tiny bit slower uh, but generally it will function just fine uh, and once this is fully resilvered and once you get the uh, state uh, of your pool to be healthy, then and only then I would give you an advice to replace the other drive. So that's going to be it for me for today's video. Uh, enjoy your resilvering and I'm going to see you in the next video.